Citing the report cited National Housing Income and Expenditure Surveys of 2009-2010 that indicated that 11.6% of children in Namibia aged 6 to 13 had never been to school. It was also found that over 92% of state schools have a school development fund. The report revealed that school funds are used for a variety of activities from paying for relief teachers, photocopying, textbooks and stationery, to cleaning and building, maintenance. A percentage is also used for extracurricular activities, travel and transport, and curriculum development. The report also concurred that by eliminating the existing system of student development contributions, uh, student development fund contributions, and providing direct state grants to schools, I'm referring to public schools, to compensate for income forgone, is likely to have a very positive impact in addressing such embedded disparities. In reference to education provision in the primary education phase, grade um, zero, the first grade, to grade seven, that's now what is primary, is hereby exempted from paying these fees. This is in line with section 39 of the Education Act. I further direct that um, parents, the guardians of learners in grade zero, the first grade, call it pre-primary, to grade seven, to no longer contribute to the school development fund. As of January 2013. Number three, I direct that schools should reimburse those parents, guardians who may have paid school development fund as part of their registration requirements for 2013. Congratulations to the learners who have made it to the next grade. For those learners who were unable to make it to the next grade this time, we encourage them to work harder in order to improve their performance next year. We are discussing, but hinting we are likely in the future to consider only putting the numbers and not the names.